Hi, I'm Connie Wakker and I'm an associate professor at TU Delft in the Netherlands. I lead a research group on, on product design for a circular economy or circular product design. It is exciting to present for the open source circular economy event and also slightly intimidating as well. And this is because the work in my group has to a large extent been about working with big companies, understanding how they can transition to a more circular economy, both in terms of business models and product design. We, for instance, work a lot with Philips, and they have introduced the light as a service business model, where Philips no longer sells lamps, but they sell light. And then Philips retains ownership of the lamps and takes them back after use. And this means that it's now in Philips' best interest to ensure they design lamps that are as reliable and low maintenance as possible, because Philips now has to pay for maintenance and for the customer to keep the lamps as long as possible, because that will deliver Philips more revenue. So in a way, I represent the top-down approach, which is sort of like the opposite of a community-based open source approach. But nevertheless, in our research, looking at different business models for a circular economy, we have come across one particular business model that has become our darling. And we call this the gap exploiter model. Now, gap exploiters find and exploit the leftover value in product systems. For instance, the average household in the European Union has at least 3,000 euros of stuff, unused stuff, lying around. And when you start looking for gap exploiters, you will find them everywhere. Repair cafes are gap exploiters. I fix it is a gap exploiter. The American startup Gone is a gap exploiter because their apps help you to sell your stuff. A company that buys used iPhones and refurbishes them and sells them again, like the Dutch company Leap, is a gap exploiter. And what all of these have in common is that they exploit unused value, stuff lying around, waiting to become waste. Gap exploiters are pivotal in the transition to a circular economy. They transfer would-be waste into stuff of value. They recirculate products. And we need more of them. And they work very well in open source environments. Many sharing initiatives are gap exploiters. People sharing products or resources that would other otherwise be underutilized. So why are gap exploiters so important? It's because individual companies simply cannot construct perfect circular models in perfect isolation. We need these gap exploiters as missing links towards the circular economy. And I also like this slightly subversive nature of gap exploiters. They can go against the mainstream, try out wild things and rally support for a circular economy and sometimes make money while doing so. So to conclude, I would like to challenge you to find or create your own gap exploiter initiative. Recirculate stuff and have fun.